God bless you. Oluwa to inspire of unfailing am international ministries bringing confess my victory. Confess my victory is a daily devotional book based on different biblical teachings from the acronyms of the months of the year. For the months of January we have joy anointing newness unfailing amen renewal and Yahweh. Today is day 27. We are looking at the renewal of the mind. Now the Lord is the spirit, and we are the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Second Corinthians 3:17. If you long to break loose from conformity to the world, if you long to be transformed and made new from inside out, if you long to be free from mere duty-driven Christianity and do what you love to do, because what you love to do is what you ought to do, if you long to offer up your body as a living sacrifice so that you can your own life becomes a spiritual act of worship and displays the words of Christ above the words of the world. The problem with our mind. There are many who think that the old problem with the human mind is that it doesn't have access to all the knowledge it needs. So education becomes the great instrument of redemption, personal and social. If people just got more education, they will not use their minds to invent elaborate scams and sophisticated terrorist plots and complex schemes for embezzling and fast-talking, mentally nibbling, radio rudeness. If people just got more education, the Bible has a far more profound analysis of the problem. In Ephesians 4 verse 23, Paul uses a striking phrase to, par- to parallel Romans 12 2. It says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Now, what in the world is this? The spirit of your mind. It means the least this the human mind is not a sophisticated computer managing data, which is then faithfully present to the heart for appropriate emotional responses. The mind has a spirit. In other words, our mind has what it calls a mindset. It doesn't just have a view. It has a viewpoint. It doesn't just have the power to perceive and detect. It also has a posture, a dominion, a bearing, an attitude, a bent, the renewed in the spirit of your mind. The problem with our mind is not merely that we are, if I, we are finite, but we are falling. The problem with our mind is not merely that we are finite and and doesn't have all the information, the problem is that our mind are falling. They have a spirit, a bent, a mindset that is hostile to the absolute supremacy of God. Our mind are bent on and seeing God as infinitely more worthy of praise than we are, or the things we make or achieve. This is who we are by nature. We do not want to see God in worthy of knowing well and treasuring above all things. You know there is that is the truth about yourself because of how little effort you expend to know God and because of how much effort it takes to make your mind spend time getting to know God. In the Bible says we have exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images uh, resembling mortal man. And the image in the mirror is the mortal image we worship most. That's what's wrong with our mind. The illuminates, the relationship between verse 1 and 2 of Romans 12 says we should present our bodies. That is our whole life, our whole life as a living sacrifice, which is our spiritual service of worship so in the aim of all life is worship that is we are to use our body our whole body to display the worth of god and all that he is for us in christ now it takes perfect sense when verse 2 says in order for us to uh, to for our mind to be renewed we must worship god uh, as we must see god as worthy of our worship. Father, Lord, we thank you for the grace to worship you, to see you as the ultimate confession. I will love the Lord my God with the whole of my heart and mind, and I will not be carnally minded. 
and that we be spiritually minded, which is life and spirit. Today's reading is Proverbs 27 and Matthew 27. God bless you. See you tomorrow.